The little town of Harbor Grace sits on the banks of Conception Bay, about 45 kilometers northwest of St. John's. It's a little town with a big history. We began our visit by looking at the aviation connection. During the first half of the 1900s, the world was captivated by airplanes and other airborne machines. Alcock and Brown flew across the Atlantic from St. John's in 1919. Charles Lindbergh flew from Paris to New York non-stop in 1927. So where does Harbor Grace fit in? Perhaps the name Amelia Earhart will give you a clue. On the morning of May 20th, 1932, Amelia Earhart departed Harbor Grace, set to be the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean in her Lockheed Vega 5B airplane. Battling strong winds, icy conditions, and mechanical problems, it was a miracle when she landed in Derry, Northern Ireland. This feat brought her great fame and only urged her desire to conquer more of the aviation world. However, tragedy would find her in July of 1937 after beginning a trip that would not only take her across the Atlantic, but the entire globe. Departing from the Ley Airfield in Papua New Guinea, she began her first leg of her journey, headed toward the Hawaiian Islands. However, somewhere along the way, she vanished, never to be seen again. Many theories exist on what happened to her. Many believe that she simply ran out of gas and crashed into the ocean, while others believe that she got lost and ended up on Gardner Island. A final theory is that she was intercepted by the Japanese military, either taking her prisoner or shooting down her plane. After seeing the memorial dedicated to her and the Harbor Grace aviation history, we turned our sights to the water. Resting just offshore is the SS Kyle, a 220 foot long steamship. This ship now rests on the shores of this seaside community. She ran ashore in February of 1967. The boat was primarily used for transportation. It carried everything from cargo going to Labrador to infantry going to Canada during World War II. Known as the Bulldog of the North, it was seen as one of the fastest ships in its fleet and was strong enough to break ice during the harsh Newfoundland winters. To learn more about this area, to book a guided tour, or to find out about more amazing locations across Newfoundland, please visit our website at joshuatravelguide.ca. Don't forget to share this video, because together, we can share the world. <laughs>